Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today's topic of discussion is about culture media. Culture media. So before I commence the topic, before I start the topic, the discussion, I would love to tell you what you are going to learn in this particular video, in this particular discussion. We'll talk about the culture media, its types, how many types of culture media are there, the composition of the culture media, the preparation of the culture media, how we prepare the media, and the method of culture, how we do the culture. Okay? So we'll get all these points cleared in our today's discussion. So let's start the discussion from the very point that is culture media. What is culture media? First of all, let's know the term culture media. Culture means to grow. What? To grow. Media, it is the plural form of the medium. Okay? Plural of medium is media. Medium the medium, the ground, on which we do the growth of what? Microorganisms. So just combine these together, medium to grow. So it is a medium, any medium which we are using for the growth of the microorganisms, we call that medium as culture media. Okay? So culture media is simply the medium used for the growth of the microorganism. So this is simple and to the point uh, understanding regarding the word meaning, okay? Now let's add a little bit more uh, sweet in our taste. That is this definition. Now this is a little bit, little bit advanced definition. What is here by? Simple. A word is increased here by nutrient. That is the word to be understand, to be focused, okay? So nutrient rich solution, such kind of solution in which there is enough amount of nutrition available for what? For the bacteria, for the microorganism, for the fungi and stuff like that. So for the microorganisms in short. So nutrient rich solution used to grow the microorganisms in laboratory setting. Simple. So what is cultured media? It is actually the solution that is full of nutrition. Means there is enough nutrition available for the microorganisms to grow. So what we do then with this media, we actually uh, use this media in the laboratory for the growth of certain pathogens. So we then, uh, then identify what kind of pathogen was there. So sometimes when we have less number of pathogen, we cannot identify properly. So when we have enough number of pathogen, so then we can easily identify what kind of pathogen is and what are supposed to be the particular test to be done on that pathogen. Means we can, this, this increased number of pathogens can then help us to identify the particular antibiotics which can be used to, to treat that particular species. Okay? So that's it, a little bit regarding the definition or the concept of the culture media. I hope you got the concept of media. media. So summarizing in short, culture media is actually the medium that is used for the growth of the microorganisms. And uh, this is actually used in the laboratory. So this medium is actually full of nutrition and uh, this nutrition is then used by the microorganisms. So then microorganisms, when they use this nutrition, then they grow actually very rapidly. They reproduce and they grow very rapidly in a very good manner. So then uh, now we have types of the culture media. We have actually uh, two types of the culture media, physically and based on the composition. On physical state, when we just see the physical state of the media, so we can classify the, the culture media into two. Liquid culture media, solid culture media, based on physical state. Based on composition, we classify culture media into simple media, defined media, complex or natural media, enriched media, selective media, differential media, okay? So first of all, starting from the physical state, when we take the media and we just look at it physically, we'll find two types of the media. Number one, number two, the liquid state, solid state. So physically we can see things in solid or in liquid state that we can see. So based on our observation, we have cultured media of two types, liquid and solid. Liquid media is known as broth media. What? Broth media. Now, what does this word mean, broth? Simple. Let's concentrate. So various types of nutrients are actually obtained from the beef extract, from the peptones, from the yeast extract. So all these, when these are actually, these extracts are taken, so they are actually in the liquid form. And uh, that liquid form which is obtained from these extractions, that is actually resembling the yakhni. The yakhni. This is a Persian word. So, which means that whenever you boil uh, meat or um, stuff like that to get a particular uh, fluid which has the extract of the meat, that is known as the yakhni. Or uh, the next name for that particular fluid is actually 
the broth. So we call this particular uh, extract, which is having the structure resemblance with the, uh, the physical appearance resemblance with the yakhni. So we call this fluid the broth, okay? This is the meaning of the word broth. So you can get now the understandings or the concepts of the broth. So what is broth? It is a liquid culture media. And this broth is given the name broth because of what? Because of the extract, when we take the extract, so that liquid, liquid which is extracted from all these, that is actually resembling the yakhni. So that's why the yakhni can be called as broth. And broth is given the name to this extract, to this liquid media. This is liquid culture media composed of all these. And because of its appearance, it is called as broth. I hope you got the concept. Now let's come towards the solid uh, culture media. Simple, a culture media which is in solid form. We can convert this broth, this extract liquid form into solid form by just adding agar. If we add agar, this agar is actually a solidifying agent. It is actually jelly-like. And uh, it is actually the Malay word. You know, English word, French word, Greek word, Italian word. So this agar is actually a Malay word, okay? So this Malay word, agar is actually, agar is because of uh, the jelly-like substance. So it means jelly-like substance, okay, in short. And this is actually used for solidifying something. So what we are solidifying right now is culture media. Which one? The broth. So if we add agar into the broth, then we get the solid form of the culture media. Now is agar, agar one. So in that case, agar is actually a solid form. It actually provides a solid surface, okay, simple. A solid surface for the growth of the media. It only provides the, the surface. It is not having any kind of nutrition. Broth contains nutrition. Why? Because it is having uh, extraction from the bee, from the peptones, from the yeast. So all these are actually full of nutrients. Whereas agar is just simply or merely an agent that is providing a solid surface only, a ground only. Okay. So it is liquid. It is now solid. So solid actually provides the surface for the growth of the bacteria, fungi, or simply in short, we could say microorganisms. I hope you got this point. So in short, what is uh, agar? It is actually a solidifying agent, which is jelly-like substance. So this is actually used for, for the providing of the solid surface for the growth of the microorganisms. And if we add this into broth, so we will get uh, the conversion of liquid into solid. So then that solid can be used for further uh, culture, okay? So it is in short providing the ground, solid ground, solid surface for the microorganisms. Liquid surface, liquid medium, solid surface, solid medium, okay? Liquid medium, solid medium. So this is about the physical appearance, based on physical appearance, the types of the culture media. I hope you got the types of the culture media based on the physical appearance. So now types of the culture media based on the composition. Now, if we talk about the composition regarding simple media, in simple media, we have very few basic components, very few basic nutrients. So if we have very few number of basic nutrients, so we uh, call that media as simple media. So now if we know the quantity of uh, each ingredient, that uh, how much is particular ingredient in, in the particular media. So if we know the quantity, then we call that media as defined media. Means defined means there is some kind of uh, noun value with us, noun quantity with us of the ingredients. So if the quantity is actually then uh, varies, means there is enough uh, varieties available of nutrients in the media, then we call that complex. Why? Because it is having so many uh, varieties of the nutrients, okay? Or we can also call that as natural media. Then we have enriched media. This is actually a special type of media, which is having extra nutrients, extra nutrients, okay? Then we have selective media. Selective media, the name indicates, the name is telling you guys if you concentrate, selective. It is doing the selection of some microorganisms and inhibiting other microorganisms, selecting some microorganisms to increase the growth of those microorganisms and inheriting the growth of the other microorganisms. I hope you're getting the point. It is doing selection, okay? Whereas differential is actually providing the difference. The name indicates difference. It helps you in differentiating the microorganisms in a particular media. So what happens hereby, uh, the microorganisms, they will consume particular food, their color changes. So like this, that particular bacteria, which is having particular food in the particular medium, so that bacteria will then use or consume that food and that bacteria will have the certain type of color. So like this, that bacteria is differentiated from other bacteria. So that's why we call this media as a differential media, which is providing the differentiation or which is helping us to differentiate among the bacteria available in the particular sample. 
So this is how we are done with the types of the cultured media based on the physical state, based on the composition. Now, question is how to prepare the cultured media? Very simple. What we do, first of all, we take agar, which is a solidifying agent. So we need now, we are actually going to prepare a solid surface for the growth of the microorganisms or you can say pathogens. What we take, we take agar, we just uh, weigh a particular amount of the agar. Then that weight agar is actually taken, that is then mixed with the water and some nutrients, the food for the microorganism, okay, nutrients. So microorganisms or pathogens. So nutrients, water, agar, mix them together and heat it for a while that all these water, nutrients and agar dissolve. Got, then just take it, the dissolved form, take it into the autoclave for the sterilization. When it is sterilized, then pour it, take it out, pour it on the Petri dish on which you are going to prepare a media, a ground for the pathogens. So here we have a Petri dish. Take a Petri dish. If it is not available, visible thereby, let me draw it here. Petri dish is actually of this type uh, of a glassware. So you will take the Petri dish. In this, you will pour your media and uh, then you will allow it to cool. So at the end, when it is cooled, a solid surface will be available for you guys to do the culture of particular pathogen on this surface now. So now this surface has got how many things? Three, agar, water, nutrients, all dissolved and solidified by the agar when it is allowed to cool. Now this particular media is available. We have prepared it. Now it is available for the growth of the, or for the culture of the pathogen. So what we do now? Now what is the method? How to do the culture? Very simple. We will isolate the pathogen first of all. First of all, we will take the specimen, the pathogen, the disease causing agent, the microorganism, we will take it. Then we will put that, we will do the streaking specimen over the agar plate. Means we will take that, then we will just spread that particular specimen on this agar plate. Okay, on this plate which we have made it right now. So then what is done? Then this particular plate is taken, then it is incubated for a while to uh, help us to have colonies. So then this particular pathogen will start growing hereby. And by the end of the day, we'll get certain colonies over there. Colonies have been grown over there. So now these are actually the colonies. Now these colonies, when these are obtained, then these colonies are subjected to the antibiotic tests. Here I have done tests, antibiotic susceptibility, and we can also do phenotypic characterization and so on and so forth. So that's it all from my side regarding the topic, culture media. I hope you got, if still you have confusion or question, ask us in the comment box and don't forget telling us, telling your friends about Dr. Huge lectures and telling us how it was for you guys. 